Good evening, I'm Todd Sievert. I'm chairman of the Finance Committee. It's about 7.20. We are here today uh, to discuss a uh, authorization to submit a loan application for wastewater plant blower replacement and treatment capacity upgrade project. To my right is William Roselle. To my left is Bobby Phillips. Uh, it's always a fun day when you can borrow $10 million, so I will turn this over to Mr. Tiddington. Uh, so, two general points of correction. It is 620, not 720. Oh, sorry. I couldn't see the clock. Uh, first of all, apologize. and uh, we wish that we were only borrowing $10 million. Um, we are, in fact, asking for authorization to submit a loan application for $16,100,000. Uh, $16, um, that is based on our most current estimates now that the project is substantially designed. This would increase uh, the plant's capacity from 7 uh, million gallons per day treatment to 9.6 million gallons per day um, and would comply with EPA, uh, Ohio EPA uh, standards and uh, uh, proposed permit limits since we have not gotten our new permit approved yet. Uh, but we have been working with OEPA on that. We are asking for um, emergency legislation, even though it was not in the report, uh, as we need to file with the OEPA and have them look at the design documents before we actually go out to bid. So what's, there's language about two grants as well in our report. Mm -hmm. So would those, those would offset the $16 million? Yeah, those would offset the $16 million. That's not an addition to the $16 million. $16.1 million, um, we believe, is the most that, that is the gross amount. We do have uh, two grant applications. One is an Ohio grant, um, and then the other is the, uh, a grant application through the U.S. Uh, Economic Development uh, Administration. Um, and both of those, uh, one of them is uh, the state one. Uh, we did not get funded during the first round, uh, but we understand that there may be some additional money that is released uh, through the administration. Um, and uh, we believe our chances of getting some funds once that happens is, is very good. We also put in a grant for six million, no. Uh, four million from the uh, Economic Development Administration. Uh, that application is pending. We, we had hoped to hear last month, <coughs> uh, but uh, we're not sure when we'll, we will actually hear. What's the term of the loan? Uh, it's a it's a low interest six point uh, six five percent loan, and I want to say it's is it thirty years or forty. I believe Mr. Free, our finance director, is requesting a 20 year, but it can be extended out to 30. So. And the interest rate is 0.65% set for the entire term? Huh? Yeah, I mean, 0.65 for the entire term for 30 years. Uh, 20, 20 to 30. But it can't be extended yeah. at the same rate? Well, we wouldn't extend, we, I don't believe it can be extended once we sign the paperwork. If we sign the paperwork at 20 years, then we are obligated to pay the principal and interest over 20 years. You cannot prepay, you cannot buy it off early. That is one of the conditions of the loan. So, so if we went 30, we have to pay it over 30. We would pay over 30. We can't pay it. Right. So the final terms would be worked out with Mr. Friggy based on uh, fund balance, based on principal and interest projections, et cetera. And this is for equipment or this is for construction? This is, a plan, this is construction. This is a, a plan expansion and renovation. And we're also rolling the design dollars that we've already expended into it. So we have about a million dollars in design for this project that the loan would also cover. That we've already we've already prepaid. We've already spent, uh, or we just haven't paid the 
vendor. We have, we have, but we have not reimbursed ourselves. We've used fund balance in the sewer plant or in the sewer fund to pay for the design costs, knowing that we would get reimbursed, like we do with pretty much any financing that we do. Mr. Phillips, any questions? Another question, but this has been ongoing for almost two years now in the design phase, so that's why we have already uh, paid money. So when will we know about the grant? Um, what's the uh, status on that once we submit the, the federal grant? We had hoped to find out last month. Um, staff reached out uh, to their representatives. Uh, they're still evaluating all the grants uh, applications that have come in. Uh, as far as the state goes, that depends on whether, when uh, the legislature and the administration possibly put more money from their ARPA allocation into this program. We're told that they're contemplating doing that. We don't know when and how much. But it couldn't occur after we've signed the loan document because you can't do a prepayment. We would hope that, well, our, and we anticipate that we're not going to obligate anything until we get final word on those grants. But we're so why are we doing an emergency? So that we can get the design documents in so that the EPA has time to look at them before we then go out to bid. The loan application has to be in at least 60 days prior to a bid opening. So you believe within 60 days we'll know about the grants? Not necessarily, but within the next month, maybe we'll have, we'll have to make a decision whether, does it look like it's happening, right? Does it look like this funding is going to come available and is it worth waiting? And it probably is worth waiting for a potential of $6 million. It's, I just don't want to hold off any longer on the loan. And in doing the loan application, you don't commit to the amount until the bid opening. So, so you passing this legislation right now is not committing us to borrowing $16 million. It's committing us to borrowing up to $16 million. 16.1. Once we get the bid. Correct. That makes sense. Yeah, so we can adjust the timing of when we go out to bid, when we open the bids, et cetera. Mr. Phillips, anything? Uh, no, I have no other questions on it. Mr. Rizzo. We're good. Any council members in the audience? Mr. Shelley. Worst case scenario, if we don't get any grants, we still need to build a plant because we don't have any more capacity. We're at capacity right now. Correct. So regardless of what happens, we got to build this plant for $16 million. Correct. Hopefully we'll get some reimbursement. If we don't, we're on the hook for it. Correct. Okay. At a very low interest loan rate. <laughs> At a very low interest <laughs> loan rate. Yeah, that's a tremendous interest rate. Yeah, we can probably take that money and invest it and do something with it and make some money on that. If there is a silver lining, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, that's the key. Yeah. Move forward with emergency. Ms. Marshall, anything? No. Mayor? Anybody else in the audience wish to have any comments? Ms. Knight? No, sir. Sorry. Okay. How do you wish to proceed, Mr. Emergency? Let's uh, proceed as staff is recommending. And I would concur, so we would have a unanimous recommendation that we move forward with emergency legislation. Okay. That will conclude my uh, time at the dais. That's right.